So guys, for the first step, we're going to head over to search and type in view network connections. Click on it. Once you're on this, you want to find either Ethernet or Wi-Fi. No matter which one you have, you want to double click on it. And then you want to click on properties. And then you want to click on the internet protocol version 4. Once you're on this, you want to make sure that use the following DNS server address has been ticked. You want to make the first line 8888 and you want to make the second line 4222 and then click on OK. For the second step, we're going to head over to search and type in CMD. Then we're going to run it as administrator and then click on yes. Once you're on this, we're going to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS and click on enter. For the next step, we're going to head over to search and type in Roblox player. Once you find this, we're going to right click on it and then click on open file location. Then once this appears, we're going to right click on Roblox player again and then click on open file location again. Once you're on this, you want to find Roblox player launcher.exe. You want to right click on it and then click on show more options and then click on rename. Then you want to just add a one on the end and then click on enter. Now, once you do that, we're going to right click on it and then click on properties. Then we're going to head over to the compatibility tab. Then we're going to run this program in compatibility mode. Tick this and then you want to tick disable full screen optimizations and then tick run this program as an administrator and then click on OK. Now, once you do all of this, you want to restart your computer and then you want to head over to search and type in Roblox player. Then you can open it and it should be working now.